What's up, everybody? Citizen Kimberly here. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good night. It's time to Netflix and shop to keep your mind right. Today's feature film we're going to be discussing is a 2013 thriller named Department Q, The Keeper of Lost Souls. Department Q is based off of a series of international best-selling books and this movie is made from it. As a warning to all of you American viewers, this movie is Danish and yes, you'll have to read it. If you are sprechensy Dutch, you're okay. So the movie starts off when we have a trio of men. They're sitting in a car. The mood is set. It's dimly lit. They're having a discussion amongst them. It's not going well. We follow them into a cabin of sorts that's disheveled. The air of creepiness has settled upon them. It seems to be barren, but all of a sudden, boom, you hear the guns go off. People are going down, and all we see is the lead character, Carl on the floor staring at his maimed and hurt companions. So we flash, we actually don't get a time limit, and Carl has entered the police chief's office. The police chief then tells him that he's going to be transferred to another department. Before he does this, he says, look man, why don't you take a couple of months off? Maybe like six. Carl is bewildered. He's kind of like, I don't know what you mean. What do you mean I need to take six months off? Unfortunately, Carl is told by the police chief that nobody wants to work around him. Nobody really likes him. So he's forcing him to go into the basement of the police station and work on these cold case files, therefore closing them. The police chief tries to console Carl and tell him that he will have an assistant. Carl's like, I don't want an assistant. So then we are introduced to the assistant who is very optimistic. He helps Carl out with this particular cold case file. We essentially follow Carl and his assistant aside into investigating the mystery of a young woman who has disappeared while traveling with her brother who has a mental disorder. And we discover the dark mystery surrounding her disappearance and how it was linked mysteriously to her past and the accident that caused her brother's mental disability. So there I'm going to stop with the plot analysis and go into my thoughts on the film. I was particularly impressed with how unglamorized the detective work was. I found that it was to my liking very realistic and I really felt like they expressed the sort of unhappy existence that potentially lies within being a police detective. Unlike most series or films that kind of put it out there like it's this Vegas showcase, happy-go-lucky, so mysterious and glamorous existence, this film actually goes the other way and that is a point to be appreciated. I have to say that the cast and the characters were very well put together and I really think that the film as a whole was very interesting and intriguing and it had different twists and turns that I didn't necessarily feel were expected and that led me to believe that this was a really well put together crime thriller film. There were parts of it that were slightly scary, there were parts of it that were slightly suspenseful and overall I give it an A++. So if you're into crime thrillers, mysteries, suspense thrillers, then you'll definitely enjoy Department Q, The Keeper of Lost Souls. There's also two other films in this trilogy, so I'll be talking about those at some point, but until then, check this film out, and until the next time, I will see you all later.